Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. This is episode... Oh my gosh, I forgot what episode that is. I think it's episode 7. <laughs> I don't know, it'll be in the name. <laughs> um, I want to welcome everybody who's my subscribers, returning subscribers. Thanks for sticking around and commenting and liking and just, you know, being part of the community. <laughs> Um, welcome if you're new or if you're not a subscriber at all, if you just like wandered upon me, <laughs> um, feel free to subscribe and so you can see my videos and follow me along as I do my projects and whatever I end up doing later. Uh, right now I just crochet but I'm really wanting to get into sewing but it's really intimidating to me <laughs> so I don't know. The lighting may be a little wonky because it's kind of gloomy outside but I don't want to use the actual indoor lighting because it's like yellow and blah. Anyways, my last video was rushed a little bit because my son was napping and I was also cooking. My son is at his grandparents that just came and I'm not cooking yet so I don't have to rush through this one even though I kind of will because I sometimes talk really fast but I can't help it, it's just me. <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't really have a whole lot to share this week. I've been really busy. I was babysitting a nine-year-old and she's went back to school and you would think because she went back to school last week things, you know, I would have more time on my hands, but it just seemed to go the opposite way, and just a lot of things have come up, and I've been real busy, and I've only worked hardcore on one project, so I have the most done on it, and I'm not even done with it, I'm almost done with it, I will finish it after I film this video, but I guess I'll hop in first with my finished objects, and this one I was working on last time, I think I only had a little smidge of it done, but it's a little pillow, it's called the Patriotic Popsicle Cuddle Buddy <laughs> by Repeat Crafter Me, which is Sarah Zimmerman. I feel like I didn't stuff him enough, but he looks like uh, a rocket pop. And uh, I don't know if anyone's ever had those, but I used to, my granny, we, she had lived on a dead end street, and at the end of it was a gas station, and we used to go up there all the time and buy rocket pops. Or those Flintstone um, push pops. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I made this for the fair because there's a category for patriotic decorations that's not a reef because they have a patriotic reef category and I just saw him and I thought he was a cute little you know 4th of July type thing and I considered um, making like a USA or a fourth or something to put on him or like a pennant that he's holding but I haven't 100% decided on it yet. Our fair is in a little over three weeks. It starts on September 1st, but I have to enter my projects on the 2nd, and then that evening is when they get judged. And then I have to leave them there for a whole week. That's, it scared me to death last year, leaving my stuff in a strange building, you know, around a bunch of people who could potentially take it. <laughs> but they all survived last year, so I'm sure they will this year. Hopefully. Anyways, back to the pillow. This is just Red Heart Super Saver scraps every one of them the brown the blue the white and the red actually no the red's not I can't remember the brand of the red but I bought it we used to have an LYS in a town next to mine and I only went in it once before it closed and it was when I was first getting back into crocheting after not doing it for a little while and I went in there and I didn't really need anything particularly so I bought this red and an orange and it's kind of rough it's not 100% acrylic it's acrylic with something else in it <laughs> And I'm not a big fan of it, so I've been using it just for like things like this, just things that I'm not going to be touching a whole lot after I make them. They're just going to be on the shelf or whatever. And he's got little safety eyes. I don't know what size they are because the ones I ordered from Amazon are just in like a tackle box looking thing and they don't have like numbers on them. And I stitched on his little mouth. I think last week I said I was almost done. All I needed to do is legs or something. And then I forgot that I hadn't done his mouth yet. <laughs> but he's super cute. And right after I made this, my sister tagged me in a Facebook post of a popsicle that looked just like a popsicle with just one stick down here, saying that she wanted one. And I had just finished this that same day, so I was like, well, I can make you one. It's just really a little bit different. Anyways, he's super cute, and he was very easy. Super duper easy. He's just two panels, <laughs> and then you um, crochet them together. I single crocheted them all the way around, except for the bottom. I think I left, no, I left this white side open to stuff him and put his eyes and mouth on and I was going to crochet over his legs and arms and I don't know why I decided to change my mind, it just didn't look right or something so I just stitched them on afterwards and then I s finished this side and sewed in all the ends. I think he's cute and he's pretty good size, I don't know how good I'm holding it. 
because I can't see me, but I'm hoping to have a better setup eventually. <laughs> Alright, my second finished object, which I guess is technically four, or I guess kind of two, because it's two sets of two. <laughs> They are little, they're Christmas ornaments, or they will be. I gotta get some of those little hooky things. But they're little turtle doves. I have four of them because I made a set for me and for my sister. They're just little, as again, I'm pretty sure this is all Red Heart Super Saver scraps. I don't know how good he's showing up, but he's just a little turtle with dove wings. And he's actually clothed with a nickel, which is kind of neat. I don't know how good it's going to stay in there, though. But you just like stick a nickel in there. I also stuffed all the ends after weaving them in a little bit. I just stuffed them in there to give them a little bit of poofiness. And then his head. But there's four of them. Two sets of two. They're really easy. I made all four of them in like an hour. <laughs> and that was with my son here. So that's, that's an accomplishment. <laughs> but they're going to have little hangers or something. And I know that turtle doves are not turtles with wings. They're a bird. They're a type of dove I imagine. Um, well, actually, I know they're a dove because I googled it, but <laughs> anyways, um, the reason I decided to make these cute little turtle doves that's turtles with dove wings is because when I was growing up, uh, my sister and I used to love watching a movie called Simon Birch. Uh, it's a really good movie. It's real sad, too, but, you know, eh, whatever. I think it's based loosely on a true story, but I don't know if it's 100% based off of the real story, but... Anyways, they're Catholic, and at a certain part of the movie, it's Christmas time, and they're doing, they're getting ready for a Christmas, Christmas pageant, and all, they got a lot of little kids dressed up as turtle doves, and the, the Sunday school teacher dressed them up as turtles with dove wings, and it's just cute, and, this, and when I seen this pattern, it was just nostalgic, and I was like, oh, I gotta make some of those for our tree. I also would like to make some actual dove-looking ones, just because of Home Alone when the homeless woman gives him the turtle doves. No, she doesn't do that. It's the Toy Story guy. The Toy Story guy, Mr. Duncan, I think it's his name, gives him, gives Kevin the two turtle doves and says, you know, you give, keep one, you give one to your friend, and then he gives one to the homeless lady at the end or whatever. Something like that. <laughs> I watch a lot of movies. Anyways, the turtle doves, which I done forgot, Red Heart Super Saiyan Scraps. Uh, it's called on Ravelry. It's just two, like the number, turtle doves, and it's by Karen. I cannot say the last name. It's a Z word, but it'll be below. It's free pattern. Super simple. Super cute. You could pop out a ton of them if you wanted to. <laughs> all scraps. I think I said that. All right, that's all my finished objects, which isn't a lot, but eh. what can you do? I almost finished one today, and I was trying and trying and trying, but something just kept coming up. <laughs> And it is the second panel to my grease crochet along that I'm participating in. I like like five or six rows to close it and then weaving in all the ends. There are a lot of ends, but nowhere near as much as on the first one because I've learned how to do bobbins a lot better since the first one. There's a fuzz floating in the air. A yarn fuzz. <laughs> Anyways, this is the second week and the fifth week square comes out Monday, so I'm a little behind, but the pink ladies one and this T-bird one are the largest parts of the blanket, and then they're going to be surrounded by little like banners and little squares. So I don't know if this is going to be in there, but this is it so far. This corner up here is the last bit that I have, just a corner. Not very many, it's just closing. And then there are a bunch of ends on each side that I need to sew in. These two these two first panels of that blanket are the size of baby blankets. <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to be that big or if I just made them huge. Either way, my afghan afterward is going to be ginormous, which is fun because I like to snuggle with blankets and that's going to be for me. It is the, <laughs> that's Red Heart Super Saver for both colors. And I'm trying to stick to Red Heart Super Saver for all the blanket just so the texture is the same. Even though Red Heart is a little rough, some of the colors, like in that particular rectangle, the white is pretty soft, but the black is a little rough. I know it gets softer when you wash it. And it's just going to be a throw blanket to like put on my couch when I'm laying on it. So it's not like I'm going to be sleeping and having it on my skin for a really long time and being ir irritated by it. And plus, Red Heart's cheap, <laughs> economic, as uh, Mikey says in the crochet crowd. Um, and I have a ton of it from just hoarding it over the last forever. It is a paid-for pattern, um, 
it's a crochet along that's going on right now on Facebook. It's called the Grease Blanket Cow, and it's by Chaos and Chop Suey, or Soy. I don't ever know how to say that right. I think it's Suey. I don't know. <laughs> it was eight dollars, which isn't bad. And then, um, you know, so you're basically buying the pattern. And I think eight dollars is worth worth it for a big graph af afghan because you know people put a lot of effort into designing the graphs and making it the right size and making it you know all fit together so anyways eight dollars is good for that <laughs> and she when you when you buy it she gives you a huge pdf file that she updates every week with the new graphs but it has all the yarns and like she puts the red heart colorways that you can use and the hobby lobby i love this yarn colorways and there's another one too i think i think it's karen or something some other popular acrylic she puts the three like main ones so that you can you know use the kind you like or you can just use you know mixture I guess as long as the weight's the same. <sighs> Let's see here. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Um, now I have week three and four to catch up on, and three, three <laughs> is just like a banner shaped one. That's the length of the first two, but nowhere near as tall. And then the square. I'm not exactly sure how big the squares are, but they're. They're not nearly as big as those things, so hopefully I can pop them out and get caught up. I can probably do those two and then week five when it comes out Monday, hopefully in the same week. Maybe. I guess we will see. Alright. My next whip, I can show you now. I actually had it started last time, but the pattern hadn't been released yet. And I had hoped to get it done before it got released, but, you know, time and family and all that stuff popped up. And it is from Snappy Tops. Which is Heidi Yates, which is one of my favorite designers. I got I'm tangled. <laughs> um, this she sold a a little pack. I can't remember what it was called. Pal pack or something like that. Months ago, you had to buy it months in advance, and it was just a way for her to raise money for something. I'm not exactly sure if she had a cause or if just her making money, but um, when you bought it, it was like six dollars, I think, and then you bought it, you got two coupon codes in your email for free patterns plus you got the free pattern for this project I'm about to show you and then you got a little pal which I won't talk about in case you want to get one in the future but um and you got access to a Facebook group and all that you know it's just it was well worth six dollars because you get three patterns and two of them you get to pick yourself and also in the Facebook group for this project uh, she's giving away patterns like every day anyways <laughs> it's released now so I can talk about it. <laughs> it is paid for. Right now it's $4 but she's got a 50% off coupon making it $2. And she typically has some sort of coupon deal going on or something to make, you know, a discount. Some sort of discount because she's real good at that. But um, it's called the Limited Edition Snappy Bag and it's like, I'm trying to remember what they're called. They have a name but I can't remember. It's like a bag that you hang from your wrist and you can like crochet from the bag. They were real popular recently. People were posting them like crazy. But I've only got like a little smidge done. This is all that I've got done of it. This is Red Heart Super Saver Black Light Scrap. I bought this forever ago to make a hat out of, which I did, and I wear it every winter. <laughs> um, but this is just leftover, and I think I got some more for my birthday for my sister, actually, yeah. But um, this little bag, I wish I could show you the picture, but it's on my laptop, and I'd hate to hold it up. There will be a link below. But it's just one of those little bags that you hang from your arm and it's got pockets on the outside. I'm planning on making the body of my bag this color and the pockets black maybe. And um, just so that there's a lot of this and then a little bit of black. <laughs> but I basically just want to use this up because I used to love variegated yarn when I first started crocheting because it was neat and you could do, you know, it just looked like there was more work put into a project. But now that I've I'm a seasoned crocheter. <laughs> I um, I don't like variegated yarn for anything but projects like this or amigurumi. I don't know. It's just I hate the color changes. They're so quick. I like them better long and like faded out. Or when you just chip pick your own colors and change them yourself. <laughs> I think I just shook the table. Sorry if I shook you. But anyways, that's the limited edition snappy bag by Snappy Tops. Tots. It is paid for pattern but it's cheap and there's a coupon to get it half off right now. And my last whip, did I even say that I was talking about whips? I can't remember. I'm talking about whips. <laughs> Do I really only 
we have? Oh yeah, because of the grease blanket. Okay, sorry, I sidetracked. The next whip is just a dishcloth. I've made some of these ones before, and I never used them until we moved here. And then, like a week ago, I was using my typical sponge, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get my dishcloth out and try it. And I love the stinking things. They're actually there's one in the laundry, and there's one a new one I just put out today. But I don't want to run and get it. <laughs> but they're like rainbow colored. And this one I just I just started it the other night after my son laid down, so it's really little. I don't know if you can tell. This stitch is called a. A uh, pearl single crochet, I think. It's a little. It takes a minute to get used to it, and I had forgotten how to do it, so it took me a minute to get used to it the other day. That's why there's only like three rows, because it took me forever to figure out. And I'm not sure if this is. This isn't sugar and cream. Maybe this is sugar. This is the kind of cotton you can get at Hobby Lobby on the end cap. <laughs> I feel like it's Crafter's Choice cotton, 100% cotton. It's just, it's, it reminded me of like water when I bought it. And I bought it to knit <laughs> wash or uh, wash cloths, dish cloths. And I actually knitted one, but it's put up somewhere. But it's like a dark blue, a light blue, and then white. And it just, it looks like a water to me. And I love, me and my husband love anything to do with water. Except eating it. I don't like to eat fish. But, <laughs> anyways. I'm planning on making as many as I can get out of this ball. And I have another unopened ball of this and I have a bunch of random just cotton I don't even know what I bought it for but I have a bunch of green and red it must have been something Christmassy and then I changed my mind but I'm just gonna make a bunch of cloths to use for me because I actually really liked using those ones on my dishes and stuff and then I also read on the internet that it's not good to use sponges all the time because they like hold on to gunk but um these the cloth is just gonna be my little in-between projects when I'm tired of working on something big and just want to sit there and watch TV and do something mindless because it's the same stitch over and over and over for 31 rows I think or you know however big you want your rag but a cloth I have to keep saying cloth but we call them rags around here that's all of my whips and all of my bows I hate saying bows that sounds weird and I really don't have much else to talk about other than like upcoming projects is going going to be the, the other catching up on my grease cow hopefully <laughs> Um, I want to still want to find something to make with this because I decided I don't want to make that one shawl with it because it just wasn't flowing right. But I want to make something that I can wear. I want it to be some sort of ooh, shawl or shawlet or scarf or something that I can wrap around my neck in the wintertime and wear my trip to Gatlinburg with me because <laughs> that's my goal. I also, I really need to work on something for my nephew. His birthday is next. Not next Thursday, but the one after that, the 24th. And I wanted to make him something, but I don't know. His birthday party is the 19th, so that's next Saturday. It's a week from Saturday. Right? Yes. So I need to get on that. But, you know, he's a typical, he'll be six, so he likes anything little boys like at age six. <laughs> he just started school last week, which was crazy and emotional. I'm not even his mom, and I was freaking out and worried about him all day. So I know that my sister must have been freaking out. <laughs> But I think that's everything that I needed to talk about. And hopefully I'll have more content. I, every week I feel like I don't have anything necessary to talk about. And like people's not even going to watch it. They're just going to see how boring I am and click off. Or see how much I sidetrack and talk really fast and click off. But I don't know. <laughs> but um, I already said that I think that's everything. And I really do think it's everything now. I have to go cook dinner so that my husband has something to eat when he gets off work. And clean. So <laughs> I guess I will see you hopefully next week and hopefully with a lot more stuff to show you. <laughs> but uh, until then, have a you know, good week and all that stuff. <laughs> Bye.